Hey, I've been hearing a lot about this new update of Acasim Building Designer Connect Edition. This is me. You can call me Professor T. And I, uh, well, I do stuff. You'll see. They are calling it Open Buildings Designer. I wonder why though. You shouldn't be forgetting this. This is Ben. He helps me remember stuff that I tend to forget. It is because of the openness of the application as it is a part of the open application scheme like open bridge, open rail, open roads, supporting seamless interoperability amongst themselves using the DGN file format which is native to all those open applications. Oh yes, now I remember why. That's because... Seriously, you're gonna repeat it? This is Lee. I don't know why they put him here. He loves Batman. He depresses me. They can listen to your thoughts. Ever heard of post-production? Anyway, there is a lot of things that are going on that are new with this open buildings designer. Like stairs, railings, curtain walls. Can you not stick to one for now? Okay, so for now, let's just stick to one. Let's stick to cutting walls. It was in update 4 when the application was still called Acosim Building Designer that curtain wall was introduced. It was then the new curtain wall tool that would have allowed you to place, modify and manipulate curtain wall element types. These generally include curtain wall, storefront, ribbon window and punched opening. The placement options would have been linear, which would include byline, arcs, curves or along drawing elements. They could be manipulated further by moving or copying selective mullions across panels and creating an opening for example. That was in the previous release. In this release, there are new upgrades. Along with the older ones, he means. Yes, along with the older ones. And those include parametric cell integration, place by shape option, move curtain wall origin, integration with data group system, energy analysis. Stop it! Oh. Parametric cells integration. You can now use parametric cells as panels. This can be used to create louvers. For example, here I have a cell that I want to use in my curtain wall. First, I need to go to the catalog type called curtain wall panel in the data group catalog editor. I would now create a new item in there. I select the cell type and the cell name and save the new item. All done. Now I can use that panel for a curtain wall system and place it. And I believe it's safe to assume that you're not going to show the full process, are you? Um, yeah, I can show it to you. But that would need another video of its own. Yeah, it will take time. Um, so for now, let us... Place curtain walls by shape. Non-rectangular curtain walls can now be constructed by creating a shape element in your drawing or by selecting an existing shape element. Once placed, the outline shape can be manipulated further. The Place Curtain Wall Placement Ribbon is enhanced with the new Place By, From Shape and Delete Path options. These options work together when placing curtain walls by shape. Those were some awesome features, weren't they? You can also move the curtain wall origin. Move curtain wall origin. This option is added as an accessory to the place curtain wall by shape tool. A new move axis option is added to the modify selected ribbon. This option allows the user to move the curtain wall origin after the curtain wall is defined. You might have a non-rectangular shaped curtain wall. You might want to move the origin to the center or to the corner. Well, that's not it. You also have 
data group information available for these curtain walls. That means you can create reports out of these. These are also processed during energy analysis. Ah, what a great day to be alive. Well, let's get out of this interface here. Yeah. Well, that's it for now. See you again in the next video.